Hello again, this is Dr. Bill White, and I'm a general dentist working with the American Orthodontic Society. Uh, I am, have been I've limited my practice since 1970 to nothing but orthodontics, and I'm board certified in the American Orthodontic Society. So I'm pushing that society. Uh, okay, I'm going to cover another one of these class three cases that we treated by extracting the lower six year molars. Now, this is a mild case, and the one we did earlier, there was a pretty se severe case, about as severe as you'd want to get by extracting these, these teeth. So we'll go ahead and show this relatively it's not terribly mild <laughs> it is a class 3 and uh, this is uh, done on uh, let me get this little dot going right here uh, okay okay this case is done by taking out lower six year molars and uh, you can't see the picture here too good uh, as far as the class 3 situation but uh, watch how this turns out it's a, a fairly good when you look at the model I mean it's very fairly six year molar uh, I mean a uh, class 3 case and we're going to need to kind of spread the palette out you see we got a cross right over here a little bit over on this side uh, he may have some mouth breathing problem too but uh, not severe because he hadn't increased the vertical dimension of the face all that much uh, so uh, may not be that bad anyway if you look at it it is this fair class three it's not a severe one on, on the right side of the mouth uh, and on the left it's a little worse uh, this tooth right here is a little further out than the other one or something like that uh, anyway it's it's class 3 and we can treat these and make them come out just right by using class 3 elastics or class 2 elastics whatever one is necessary to close the space up to class one and on these that are very mild you'll bring the facial structure in a little bit more than you do uh, normally but not not very much all right let's just watch the case now we come in and we put our bands on here uh, and uh, this makes the teeth move out bodily and gives you a greater air space in here so if he's has a breathing problem that helps out in that uh, way uh, now we took out the lower six year molars and of course you make darn sure they've got lower wisdom teeth when you go in there and they're in good pretty good shape so uh, we the most of this is just regular orthodontic so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on uh, on that we lined it up and it was a little worse on the left side so you see your midline naturally is going to be over this way more so no big problem there it's just a very mild case now here the you take the teeth out when you've got the braces the brackets and everything on the teeth and are ready to go and so we're we're i think we did that anyway we put it on real quick after we do as we start bringing this forward we're using these little uh, kind of a little uh, loop that we came up with like you drop it here this that we didn't come up with this but you activate it something like that and you put that in your motor tube over here and you're dragging this motor forward it puts a lot of force on it so it brings the motor forward bodily and you can tie into this loop and pull it around the motor and as you pull that motor forward 
it'll come through almost straight up and down or if you've got too much it'll bring your roots out this way if not enough they'll be tilted some so you can regulate how you bring that motor forward by how much activation you put in this wire right here that spring comes out like that makes a circle doesn't have to be that big now and then you activate this right at this point but when you put it in the tube it raises this up and now you can tie off of that it doesn't kill the rotation and the spring pressure and it'll bring the roots of the tooth forward when you close the space like this now that's something everybody ought to know about if you're going to do any spatial space closing now we didn't put the bands on the second I mean on the first bicuss but I'm sorry we just used them on the uh, first by the six year molars in there to increase that airspace all right here we we've got the bands on we're going and we haven't really done much as far as closing we've separated the pallet made some room in there to expand the, the case and here it is in 1991 now we're closing the space up pretty good and you see how this little little deal little spring is working like that it pulls the tooth forward and this is a neat way to close space with that pressure on it like that so learn how to bend those wires and i've taught a lot of people and wire bending and stuff and you hand a piece of wire to somebody and tell them what you want and invariably they'll go out and build it like this you know something like that you go down and now you activate it you loosen the spring and the spring doesn't want to tighten back up so it doesn't work too good but if you go out make a 90 degree bend in it and now loop it this way and now you activate it when you activate it you tighten this spring and it wants to loosen itself and that's the secret of bringing those roots forward like that okay uh, here we go we're moving forward you see those motors are staying fairly straight up and down parallel in the roots as they come forward now here's the, the young man a little earlier and uh, we're using class 2 or class 3 elastics as much as we need to and you can see this is going to bring the profile in just slightly you can get some idea about the smile line and now we've got him under he looks real good now this is off a little where this side was more class 3 we need to shift it back or if the two size discrepancy in here may be causing this uh, midline deviation but it looks like this cusp closer over on the left side than it is on the right side and that's uh, pulling this jaw further in that direction leaving you a bigger space over here than you have on this side so that needs to be shifted over I hope I did that now so anyway we're going ahead here we're closing the space and uh, you look at we've got it opened out a lot in this area was where we had a palatal separator in here and creating uh, airway space and we hope gets in the left to where bees breathe through the mouth all the time okay the space is about oh maybe uh, one third long not quite a half of the space yet uh, let's go ahead and move on the tooth is the midline shifted again up here it's 1991 we're closing this space up and our space is at least half closed now and you'll look at the teeth 
They're straight up and down. We're not tilting them over, leaving the roots. The roots are actually coming forward with these six-year molars. So uh, if you have to, let me see. I hope we have a few x-rays on this case. Now we're getting a little closer to the finish of it. There's not, uh, not a lot to spend a lot of time with. Most of it's just regular orthodontic. But you can do some beautiful class 3 correction by extracting these six-year molars. Uh, lower six-year molars now. If you got wisdom teeth. Uh, so we got this coming this far. You see those teeth are straight up and down. Now here's the young man. Got a little, put on a little weight. He's actually got a really nice profile coming on here. Looking from the front, the vertical height's great. A little bit excess, but not not much. And his smile is kind of hampered there. I think he kind of forced a smile there. It doesn't look real natural. And here it is in 95, and it, it, it's looking good, you see. He's got these little plastic I mean, uh, ceramic brackets. I never do like the blooming thing, but a lot of people like them, so we use them. They don't torque really like I would like to. All right, we close the space up. Out okay. above, we're lined up. we got a few little gaps in there, but we'll close that all the way together. And down on the bottom now, we're together, and the motors look like you could send this young man to half a dozen dentists and they never suspect that he doesn't have any lower six-year motors. It's like he had his wisdom teeth taken out, see. Now, here it is on the x-ray. We'll show now where, uh, see the wisdom teeth. They're all right. If they're leaning, we can straighten them up. We we can straighten near, near anything of it. can be laying down like this, you know, with the crown down this way. And we can straighten the thing down. No big problem to straighten it or upriding any kind of uh, tooth in there. You can do it. And so now we're uh, going to take those teeth out. And uh, there's We've got everything on there, and we've got the palatal separator on and going. And so we take the teeth out, and you see this little loop right there that's shaped like this and activated down. Now it's straight out, you see. But actually, this wire wants to be down here somewhere. Now watch these roots. Look at this root over here. It's going too far forward, see. In other words, we got more activation on that root on the left side of the mouth. Um, this is the left to me, uh, as it would be. So we're bringing the root forward more than the crown. Now, there's not too many people bothered with that uh, problem. So learn how to bend those little loops. They're good, and they will bring those roots forward anytime. You see how parallel those teeth are? And they're moving forward just like that. And all it is is this little deal there. It's, you activate it up here and as you pull you can tie into that loop and just bring this forward. Now we can use class 2 or Class three elastics to come out just right on the money. What you want to do? It's real simple, and I don't see why uh, you dentists can't do this. So a lot of people will say, "Well, let's don't tackle any class threes." Uh, you're a general dentist. Well, I, I never let that bother me at all, man. We took on everything that came across. And so you can bring those together. Just learn how to bend this. Now, when you finish the case up, you got another little problem. You don't want to let this tooth erupt. 
into the mouth before this one gets up in here. Now when it gets up there close, you can turn this one loose. But we hold this one with our retainer. And you can make these retainers that hold the lower six, the upper six, uh, the upper second molars in place while the lower wisdom teeth come in up underneath them. And this takes a little longer than adults, you see, than anybody. <coughs> okay, there's a starting deal with it. I don't know, we ended up here. All right, that was the starting of the case. Let me see if I've got the fit him. Here's the finishing of the case. We've got a little space between the lateral. Maybe that was more narrow than the other, but we could close that up. There's the six-year motor, and the six-year motor's gone, and you can't see the difference in it. This cuspid is in a good space. Maybe this is a little bit there's something that isn't narrow enough to, or wide enough to fill in. You may have to build that lateral up right there. But we've gotten completely a, a rid of the class three problem. Here's the palate, the upper arch, and the palatal separator. And there's the palate after we separated. Now there's just a a lot of difference in the width of this thing. Now, we spread it out. That may be the photographer may be a little different, but it is spread out. And this lateral looks more narrow than this one over here. And so we got a gap there. But that's not a big problem. Now here's a six-year motor on the bottom. And this is the second molars and the wisdom teeth on the bottom. And here is the young man. And the profile and everything looks great. So this is worth doing, worth knowing how to do. Now he smiled. I look like I've got him a little bumped out or something. But there's where he wants to start with. Let me go back here. And look at the profile. So, anyway, we'll close this out. Appreciate you looking at it. And try this. This is worth learning how to do. And you can just make sure you know how to do orthodontics and do the basic stuff before you tackle one of these. But they're not all that terrible a case to do. So, let's see if I can... Find my deal here. And I don't seem to be able to stop it. It's still running on. Delete that part. I don't.
I've never had the problem of not being able to stop when I want 